everyone, it's Chaos World here with Willow, and I'm doing Alex L's tag called What Not to Say to a BJD Collector Tag. So basically, I hope I'm going to be answering this right, but I'm just going to answer on how I would if I was talking to someone. So um, the first one is, that's pretty weird, and then I'd basically be like, I'm a weird person. <laughs> that's... That's all I'd say. I'm like, I'm a weird person. Um, I wouldn't try to explain being like, no, it's not weird or anything like that. I'd just honestly be like, I'm a weird person. I don't know what's normal. <laughs> um, two, what do you do with your dolls? Um, I'd be like, well, basically, I dress them up, um, change their eyes, their hair, depending, or do their face. Change their face. Willow doesn't have a face right now. I don't know what to put on it yet. Um, give them clothes. Sometimes I make them clothes, even though it's not that good. Um, take pictures. Um, write stories for them. Writing stories is like the biggest thing I like to do, though. And that's all I could think of off the top of my head. Um, how much do they cost? <laughs> Basically, I yeah, just say you wouldn't know. You don't want to know. <laughs> that's the yeah, end you don't want to know I'm not answering that <laughs> um, number four do you feel bad about spending that kind of money on them um no I don't because usually the money I spend on them is like money like I don't know that I have like in a say like in the not like the fun, do fun stuff area. It's not like I'm using food money or like school money or anything like that. I'm using like extra money on them. So I, I could have used that same money on like video games or like clothes like or something like that. So it doesn't really bug me. Um, wouldn't, wouldn't you rather spend it on something useful? like spend the money and my honest reaction would be like would actually be such as <laughs> I just said literally asked to be like such as like what <laughs> what your definition of oops, your definition of useful is different from mine so this is useful for me um Six, whatever made you decide to get them their beauty look at this face how can you say no <laughs> like yes um i was like in i collected dolls before um i've always like collected dolls ever since i was a kid i've always collected them um i got rid of all of them when i was young well not that young but i got rid of them and then I just kept my brats because those were the only ones I was interested in at the time. And I just had them for a while. And then I saw pull-ups and I was like, ooh, what are these? Oh, I can't get these. Their heads are too big. And then I saw BJDs, but of course the first thing I saw was LUTs. And as you guys know, expensive. So I was like, I can never afford that. So I was planning to get an Obitsu or a pull-up. And I ended up getting a pull-up, and I liked them, so I was like, why not try getting a BJD? Because they were in, the ones that I got were in the hundreds. So I was like, well, the doll I want is only an extra hundred on top of that, so why don't I just try it? And then, da-da, that's what happened. It's more of a longer story, too, but it'll take me too long to explain the entire story. That's the gist. Um, next question, seven, what, um, what, oh, why, oh, sorry, I'm reading this wrong. What, the anatomically correct, why, though? Well, they gotta be. How are you supposed to know if it's a girl or boy if they're not anatomically correct? <laughs> like, this is 2016. Like, sometimes, just because it might have boobs does not mean it's a girl. You have to know <laughs> which one it is. Sometimes, some people dress their girls like boys and their boys like girls so you don't know unless you look and if they have nothing there then there's just nothing there <laughs> it's just whatever like i think that like well even though people think it's like weird i still think like 
don't should have girl or boy parts because it's not like you should be hiding it. It's because that's what people have. It's realistic. And then there wouldn't be so much like taboo around it and stuff. But whatever. <laughs> um, they're cool, I guess, but I could never justify that amount of money. And my reaction is to each his own. You spend $300 on makeup, I spend $300 on dolls. To each his own. <laughs> um, number nine. If I had your kind of money, I would have bought a house by now. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. <laughs> because all my dolls combined can never buy a house. Not even make a dent. Like, <laughs> it'd be different maybe if I had one of those like $3,000 dolls really limited edition fancy three thousand dollar dolls and i and i had a bunch of them then i can understand where you're coming from but you're not really gonna get anything <laughs> um let's see number 10 your significant other lets you do this um don't you care what they think well i'm single so i don't have that problem i don't know <laughs> um yeah and if i was dating someone they'd have to be able to accept it as part of me and if they can't then bye bye uh, number 11 my significant other would never let me do this and my answer to that is i feel sorry for you <laughs> that sucks and i'd actually start getting curious as in why wouldn't they let you do this <laughs> start asking them questions <laughs> like why this would they not let you do it because it's creepy or something? I don't know. <laughs> that's, wow. That's interesting. Um, 12. Are there any other people who collect this sort of thing? And I'd just be like, yes, there is. There is not like a ton, but there is. And I, in my opinion, a lot. Like, like I've heard there's like 2,000 people. That's a lot to me. So... Nah, that's a lot. Um, 13, you should sell them. You could make a lot of money. No, I can't, okay? I'm, like, sure, first of all, anything you get, well, as soon as it's second hand, it's automatically worth less than what you bought it for. Also, if someone, for example, sells a doll second hand, and they're trying to sell it more than the price they got it for, or the same price and it's not limited edition or anything what is the point of me buying it from you I could just buy it from the company it's basically I'm not saving any money so that so automatically your dolls have to go down in price another thing I'm not a good owner so my dolls get messed up <laughs> like I drop my doll sometimes not on purpose but just like sometimes when I'm posing them my reflexes aren't fast enough and they go like Psh. So they have like mini dents in them sometimes or like they might get a scuff or two and yeah. So I don't, that in itself would lower the doll by more. So basically at the end of the day, they're not worth that much. And yeah, that's basically it. At the end of the day, you wouldn't get that much out of them. You would have to like sell the entire collection to get like even a decent amount of money so yeah you, you, i wouldn't make that much i'd still make more money selling my textbooks than selling my dolls anyways um oh um that's a boy but it doesn't look like one i don't get it it's fun <laughs> um yeah like it's a boy just dressed up as a girl when people in real life are boys and they just look like girls. It's like the same thing, but with dolls. Um, it, I don't know. It's just fun. I, <laughs> I don't know what it is specifically, but it's just fun. I don't know. <laughs> That's what the hobby's about, having fun. So you just do it because it's fun. Um, 15. Don't they creep you out? Mm, if they creeped me out, I wouldn't buy it. <laughs> That's my initial thought. If it creeped me out, I wouldn't buy it. So, no, they don't creep me out. Um, 16. I'd be scared to have them in my bedroom. I don't know how you do it. Well, you'd be scared because 
you're creeped out by it, but I'm not creeped out by it, so it's not like I'm not creeped out by it, so it's nothing if they're in my room. I actually like them out on display there, I like looking over and seeing them and stuff like that. And as I said, I've been like collecting for a long time, so basically, as long as I can remember, I've always had like my dolls out on display where I could see them, so I guess I'm also used to it. So there's that. Um, I have, that was question 16, so that was all the questions, unless I missed any. If I did, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed my responses. Um, they're not as exciting as some others, but that's what my thoughts are. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, bye!